KUT TV, welcome to a special edition of Style with Kyle. I'm your host, Kyle Keller. Normally, myself along with a team of stylists make over other women in San Diego, but not today. Currently, I am at the Cycling Owl Vintage Boutique in the heart of downtown San Diego, where boutique owner Erica Ashley will be making me over. Let's go. Hello, Erica. How are you? Good afternoon. You? Welcome to the Cycling Owl. Thank you. Come Let's... in and have a look. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. What do you think? I love it. So how did you get into vintage? Vintage for me started very young. My mom used to take me shopping when I was a little girl. Um, 7 o'clock a.m. wake up time was never exciting for me. Yeah. But um, after a while, I got really into it. And I just started collecting for myself. And I've been doing this for about seven years now. And this collection is amassed over, over that time. So this place is so amazing, Erica. I have always loved vintage since I was a kid, but I do not know how to wear it correctly without making it seem like the 60s literally threw up on me. That can happen sometimes. So what are the trends here in San Diego? Well, I think that San Diego as a whole is a very trend-setting uh, community, especially downtown. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that some of the trends for fall, winter are trend coats, um, a masculine style for like a feminine masculine style. Mm -hmm. We have pencil skirts and, and printed frocks. So yeah. any of those kinds of things you can find in vintage and incorporate them into your modern wardrobe. Here. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started. I would love to. Cool. Here's the first one. I love it. I love you it too. Look, hold on. Let me see here. What did I do? See? No, nothing. I just want to see how it would look if we just kind of put the sleeves up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just scrunch the sleeves here. This is. I love it. What did you do? We paired that. So did we pair I, that with something? I paired that with my J brand jeggings and some heels that I have. And I love this because this isn't something that I normally would ever wear. Yeah. And it totally fits. I think it's a little bit too fits hot you. in the summer. Perfect. But this would be a really, really good fall piece. Absolutely. I definitely like it. This is a traditional vintage 60s, 70s top. And by pairing it with a modern pair of pants, mm -hmm. you don't look like you stepped out of that era. So this is perfect and exactly what you were looking for. Awesome. On to the next. I don't know about this one. I just had uh -oh. to try it on. Oh, we had a vintage blooper. I had to try this on because it, it's so ugly, but I, I just love it. And the shoulder pads like this, I feel like I'm out of Dynasty. Remember Dynasty in the yeah. 80s? And Kyle, this is something that we both thought was going to be so cute on you. Yeah. But unfortunately, it just doesn't fit. It's one of those pieces that Little. is very era specific. Yeah. Oh, well. Erica, I don't know how I feel about this length. Like, Kyle, I think it fits you perfectly. I mean, it looks beautiful. I am so freaking short. Like, don't you think that this would be more suited for a taller person? Well, this dress could be, absolutely, but it, it fits you. You fill it out perfectly. I think it could be either or, actually. I mean, what if I shortened it or something? Shortening would be good. So the option that we have was, would it, we could tie it back here, yeah. and then you can shorten it. But the thing about altering vintage is once you've tailored it, mm -hmm. it loses its authenticity. It's not vintage anymore. Uh, note to self. I think I love this. Tell me I love this, right? You look absolutely stunning. <gasps> and I was so nervous about trying on the skirt because the last dress, the skirt was a little bit too long. Right. And But this fits me like a glove. I feel sexy. I feel confident. Like, I got my vintage style this on right now. Your outfit. And I noticed that the skirt is only $25. Absolutely. We love to make vintage affordable for everyone. Yeah. And you know what? I actually just thought about something. I am going to opening day at the Del Mar Racetrack. This is my outfit. It is. You know what? And if you do wear that to opening day of the races, it is on the house. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely. Oh, so thank you so much for having us here. How can people learn more about the Cycling Owl? Oh, well, we are on Facebook, so you can like us at EA Vintage, or you can go to our website, www.eavintage.com, and follow us on Twitter at EA Vintage. Awesome. Erica Ashley from the Cycling Owl for UTTV. I'm Kyle Keller, and we will see you next time.